Many have made the journey from Cuba to the United States, but not like this. Looking a little unsteady, Ben Freiberg clambers off his 14-foot paddleboard, steadies himself, and finally wades onto dry land. A welcoming drink, an even more welcome hug, and he can contemplate the extraordinary challenges he had to face. I'm trying to manage, you know, certain things, pain, and manage the, the conditions that you're dealing with, but um, I, uh, I think you just hopefully you can stop and enjoy the beauty of it too, you know, um, the, the color of the water, um, things that you, you know, that Mother Nature has placed in the water that you pass along the way. 28 hours earlier he had set off from the Hemingway Marina on the outskirts of Havana. Freiburg spent most of the journey on his feet, only sitting for occasional snacks, facing the challenges of rough seas and strong currents. He said he did it to promote peace between Cuba and the US. High hopes, but this is a man who can, sort of, walk on water. Tim Allman, BBC News.